Hello, how's it going today? It is me, Captain Angie, and today we're taking a look at BVX, the new vocoder released by Reason Studios this past week. This unit, uh, this software right here, is one of the top two coolest vocoders I have seen. The other one that I thought was really good is the Rob Pappen Rowcoder, which is amazing and half the price of this one but this one is very integrated in the reason, does a few things that are kind of unique. And I would say the Rowcoder does do a lot of really cool stuff. The reason version, it's a little more user friendly to some degree. Um, also, I think it's, I like the color scheme. It kind of, you know, stands out and is separated a little bit. They pop out at you to some degree. Um, now what I've done here, if you look down on my screen, I have recorded a little bit of uh, some vocals here. Now, the reason I recorded these vocals is because dance while the record spins, dance while the record spins, dance while the record spins, dance, 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 dance. dance. The reason I recorded those was because if I speak through the vocoder while I'm talking to you, you get a double voice and it's hard to really hear one over the other. Um, it just sounded too messy. So what I did was I put it in there and now when I play it, dance while the record spins, the dance, voice is going through the vocoder, dance, but I can still spins, talk to you dance, dance, on my dance, microphone. Dance, dance, All right. Uh, let's take a look here. So we've got up top, we've got a modulator, we've got auto key play, auto play to scale. So here I can tell this, for example, if this was a musical, I could tell it to play it within if I were singing, I could tell it I want this done in C, F, G, and, and A. And it would adjust my vocals and kind of, I won't say auto-tune them, but sort of auto-tune them to what they need to be, roughly. We've got a couple different ways to use it. We've got the modern way here, and we've got the vintage way right here. These are tabs. The vintage way, you go in here and there's filter bands, low in frequency and uh, resolution. On the uh, modern way, we have a low, medium, and high on the resolution. Then here, we have the amount. We change the amount right here. We change the type right here. So we can choose a different one of the different types of envelopes here that modify the frequency. And I'll show you how that sounds in a second. Over here, we have the noise gate. We have a formant. So we can go male or female-ish. Uh, both are, I wouldn't really call them male or female, they kind of higher or lower pitched. It's, it's interesting the way it works. We've got high frequency gain. We've got an attack, a delay. We've got spectral spread. We've got a gain curve and a hold. Hold actually is interesting because it sort of freezes the sound where it is and lets you play it with the synthesizer. Now, if we go to this side right here, it's output mix. This is interesting. It's got a mixer in here where we see the, the VOC right here, the little robot head. This lets me hear only the vocoder. This lets me hear the carrier and this lets me hear my actual voice. Now it's interesting because you can pick as much or of any of these as you want. I can turn this up. All right, here we go. Here's just the carrier. Now, if I play this voice, You can hear the carrier there. Here's my actual voice. Spins, dance, 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 while the record spins, dance. So you can actually spins, run just your dance, plain voice the through these spins, effects as dance, well. Dance, 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 while the record spins, dance, while the record spins, dance, while the record spins, dance, 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 while the record spins, dance, while the record spins. Doesn't appear to be affected by unison. Dance, 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 But the uh, the second two effects. The ring modulator and the uh, or whatever's on here. So if I put the uh, comb on, dance while the record spins. Dance while the record spins. Dance while the record spins. Dance, 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 dance while the record spins. Dance while the record spins. Dance while the record spins. Dance, 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 dance while the record spins. Dance. 
you know, that's pretty cool. You've got a synthesizer right here. You can control this separately, hear that only, or you can combine it to make your vocoder sounds. You can hook up an external sound for a carrier, so you could actually use a different synthesizer altogether right here. You'll see this little light light up when you have something connected to that. Here we have vibrato, LFO. These can all be used down here to change the way the sound is using this grid. Dance, while the record spins, dance, while the record spins, dance. While the record spins, dance, dance. You can hear that, right? Dance, while the record spins, Yeah. So you've got quite a bit of control here, and this thing does do a lot. I would definitely recommend trying this out. Um, you got Portamento, we've got key, uh, different key modes. You can do uh, Poly, Retrig or legato this thing does have a lot of capabilities and it's a hundred bucks but i think it's a hundred bucks it's worth a hundred bucks but if you don't need it right this second my advice would be to hold off the reason i say hold off is because reason studios tends to do this thing where they release a new product for a hundred bucks and a few months after when they do their summer sale spring sale some sale uh this thing will be half price and so if you don't need it right now, I would just wait a while and buy it when you do need it or buy it when it's on sale. Just because that's just uh, the way this goes a lot of times with them. And uh, if you're a Reason Plus user and you're not a regular Reason license holder, then you don't even need to make a decision because it's just part of Reason Plus. You can get your copy right now, just get on, download it, and start going crazy. For everyone else, what I <laughs> I might suggest is uh, if you own Reason, here's a way to get it uh, free for a while. I believe they do a one month trial for a dollar of Reason Plus. If you own Reason and you haven't taken advantage of that trial, what you can do is you can download the trial of the vocoder on your regular Reason license. Use it for, I think it's 30 days on that and mess with it. Uh, everything you do will save. And then at the end of 30 days, you can get on and do a Reason Plus trial for a month, for a buck in a lot of cases. And once again, you'll have it for a month. So that'll get you two months for a dollar of this and other things, anything else you don't have in Reason Plus. And then at the end of that, just cancel the Reason Plus subscription if you don't need it. By then, either this will be on sale or it will be closer to being on sale. So just a thought. Your other option would be to check out the row coder from Rob Pappen. Uh, put the link down below so you can check it out. It's definitely worth looking at and it's half the price. It's 50 bucks already. That's the price of it. It's, it's really good. Super capable, super, super sounding light on your processor. It's a VST as well. The plus and minus, I guess of it is if you use the reason plugin with your other DAW, you won't be able to use the Rob Pappen one in your combinators or in the Reason plugin portion. You'd have to use it within your DAW separately as a, as a VST because <clears throat> you can't load VSTs into the Reason plugin and use them inside of another DAW. I don't 100% understand why uh, at this point, uh, other than what I refer to as the inception effect, which is that it's a VST loading a VST into a DAW. From what I understand, you can do it with a couple other products, but uh, for some reason, Reason hasn't uh, gone that route yet. Maybe they will once they support uh, VST3, which is coming up shortly. So anyway, yeah, let me know what you think of this vocoder. And if you're gonna get it, let me know in the comments. If you think it's awesome, I would love to hear what you think of it. If you think it's terrible or a waste of time, money, whatever, let me know there too. I'm just curious where you stand on uh, the use of vocoders. I think they're great, personally. I've always been a fan of vocoders. I remember hearing them in the 70s in disco music. So yeah, vocoders rock. Talk boxes are also pretty awesome. But uh, let me know what you think. I would love your opinion. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're into this kind of content and you want to see more of it. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell uh, so that you'll know when the next video drops. And by the way, just a reminder, subscribing doesn't cost anything. So please, right now, according to YouTube's analytics, of uh, 100 people who views my page, I get about three quarters of a subscriber. 
so it takes 400 views to get three subscribers. If you could help me turn the tide, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this channel off the ground here, and it's been a long run. I've been doing content for two years almost now, and I would really like to uh, see the channel step up. I'm doing my best to bring you quality content. I got my new green screen, you know, um, and uh, just trying to do the right thing for all of you. And I hope you are happy with it and are appreciating it. If you are, let me know in the comments. If you think I could improve and you'd like to see me improve in some way, please let me know what you think would be better because I would love to uh, try to accommodate all of you in some way. Maybe I can't accommodate everyone. You can't please everybody all the time, but I can try and please some of you, especially if I feel like your, um, your thoughts are, you know, kind of coming through from more than one person at a time. That'd be great to know what people are thinking. Anyway, I will talk to you all soon. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much for coming and watching this video. Peace. Be careful. Go make some music. Get yourself a vocoder and mess around. Woo! Yeah. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.